Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. We have another Smell Like video today. My name is Jane and in this channel, we talk about fragrances. I've mentioned in the previous Smell Like video that I find reviewing fragrance favorites of local and international celebrities fun as I get to sample and discover perfumes I would otherwise dismiss or ignore. Today, I am featuring Bea Alonso's top fragrance favorites. She is a popular Filipino actress for those of you who are curious, and I practically grew up watching her TV shows and movies. About four months ago, she made a video on her fragrance collection and mentioned her top favorites. Bea has a keen nose for niche fragrances. I find her taste a little eclectic and not mainstream. She knows what she likes, what works for her skin chemistry, and her collection is super interesting and varied. I have some leak hands over here, a mini, and a full bottle of some of her favorite perfumes. And in this video, I will go through them plus another perfume which I happen to have a decant of. So, without further ado, let's get on to Bea Alonso's fragrance favorites. This first one is a bonus. So this isn't in her top 5, but I've decided to include this perfume as I happen to have this decant around. And she did mention that she's been wearing this perfume for years, particularly during tapings. And this one is called DKNY Energizing Perfume for Women. This is a perfume for the hottest of days outdoors. This is very fresh, like splashing cold water on her face fresh. So this has a sharp citrusy opening which will cut through the heat. But what's more surprisingly fresher is the slightly bitter boozy vodka note in the middle. It's very cold, bubbly, bright, and happy smelling. This smells of a summer cocktail on the rocks. In fact, this reminds me a lot of Moscow Mule the drink. And um, Moscow Mule, the perfume from Juliet, has a gun. This also reminds me a lot of Roses on Ice by Killian. For that smell of ice or ice cubes captured in a perfume, this is a little aromatic, a little green but not grassy. This, I would say, is unisex despite marketed towards women. This perfume will keep you smelling fresh outdoors. It's a joy to reapply throughout the day to top up on the scent as well as on the freshness. This comes in Eau de Parfum concentration, although I find that this performs like an Eau de Toilette in this weather. So if you're on the hunt for a fresh, clean perfume to cut through the high heat with an interesting boozy edge, try the AY Energizing Perfume. This is a little bit hard to get locally, but there are some local retailers and I will leave a link and some links to where you can get this locally. Bea Alonso has two top five favorites. So on the number five spot are Chanel Chan's Eau de Parfum and Hermès Eau de Jaran sur le Toit. Chanel Chan's Eau de Parfum. So this reminds Bea of Coco Chanel in Paris. So this is the classic Chanel vibe. This has pink pepper on top, jasmine and iris in the middle, and that signature Chanel patchouli and musk and some vanilla in the base. So this reminds me a lot of a lighter, fresher daytime version of Coco Noir. If you have Coco Noir, this is its daytime playful alter ego. This can very much be a nighttime dress up perfume for warm summer nights. It has this vanilla that gives this a sweet, sexy, feminine vibe, yet not too heavy or syrupy sweet, retaining that freshness. This lasts quite long, about five to six hours on me. has a very nice trail in the air. This smells very classy, very sophisticated, but not over the top. I wouldn't wear this outdoors in high heat, but daytime indoors in aircon environment, this should be okay. So if you find Coco Noir to be too much for either day or night, or a little too much sure or serious for taste, try this one, Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum. The other perfume on her top 5 list is this one from Hermès, Un Jardin Sous le Toit. So Bea described this as the smell of summer, the smell of grass. So this fragrance belongs to the collection inspired by gardens. Well, that explains the dominant grassy note in this. The garden inspiration for this fragrance is the rooftop garden at the Hermes headquarters in Paris. So this has notes of apple, pear, rose, green grass, basil, magnolia, and compost. Hmm. So this is a very evocative scent. The opening truly smells of freshly cut grass on a hot day with an herb garden nearby where 
basil is grown on organic soil. That's how they smell like in the opening. And then the fruits come in and this fragrance becomes sweeter as this dries down. You'd get juicy apples and juicy pears, some florals, but the quiet, serene type of florals. The lingering scent on skin is that fruity sweetness. This is very fresh and clean smelling, great for daytime outdoors. So this smells a lot of outdoors. So this leans feminine, especially on the dry down. I don't think this is for everyone. This could be quite polarizing or challenging for some. It's either you like this scent or not. But I personally do like this scent, explains the full bottle I have over here. I find it interesting to wear on a casual day out or as an everyday outdoor scent. Sample this on skin, not just on paper, as I find some green fragrances could turn a bad dried hay scent once worn on skin sometimes. So this and um, DKNY Energizing belong to the same family. They can be worn for the same occasions. Bea's top four is this fragrance from Victor and Rolf called Flower Bomb. So Bea described this scent as sensual, a nighttime perfume which makes her feel flirty. So I've featured this in my preview smell like video and to me this is an orange blossom sugar bomb. The sweetness in this is in the realm of La Vie Belle or Aqualina Pink Sugar if you're familiar with those scents. There's some tea and citrus in the opening, some florals in the middle and patchouli vanilla in the base. I agree with Bea so much. This scent is best worn at night when it's a little bit cooler or for daytime but aircon environment this will be okay. This has a sexy playful edge. Men love to smell this on women but personally I'm not a fan of this. I find the sweetness just too much for my liking. This I find to be in the same sweet vanilla family as Chan's Oud de Parfum but this one is definitely sweeter and sexier. Her top three is a niche perfume by Le Liquide d'Imaginaire, and this is called Sancti. So Bea said it herself that this is not your everyday perfume. This is her special occasion perfume. This is a very aromatic, spicy scent, very ambery, very incensey and resinous. This smell of an old church or cathedral or the archive section of an old, old library also reminds me a lot of some herbal liniment that my grandmother used to make out of dried herbs and spices. So I find this note combination to be very, very masculine and I think this will smell best in colder weather. This is a challenging scent and as it is, can be more challenging by the warmer weather we have over here. I do think that the incense facet is magnified on warmer weather. I hardly get the other notes in this. This is categorized as a fougere type fragrance, but I don't really get any lavender in this, not much of the woody earthiness as well. Maybe it was just too warm when I tested this out, so this will appeal to people with a particular taste. This by no means is a mass appealing scent. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever tried this before and what you think about this perfume. I personally would not wear this as a perfume. This is way too niche for my humble taste. This is very artisanal and I do think that only the likes of Bea who's delve into niche can truly appreciate the art in this composition for what it is. I would have to leave her number two for another day as I couldn't find a sample of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach to include in this video. I sincerely apologize for that. But on her number one spot is this one over here from Le Labo and this is called Santal 33. Bea must really love this perfume to want to wear this to her own wedding. This is her signature scent and definitely her number one. This was if she was even quite hesitant to reveal this in her video. I reviewed this recently in my niche video. If you want to catch that, I will leave a link in the description. So Santal 33 has notes of sandalwood, papyrus, leather, cedar, cardamom, iris, violet, and amber. On my skin, this pulled very green, but unlike Un jardin sur le toit, this smelled of old dried grass or hay. And then it morphs to something synthetic smelling like a newly opened plastic toy. 
or styrofoam on my skin but on cloth or paper this smelled more this smells more woody so this to me is unisex but leans quite masculine i think this is this will smell wonderful on a man so uh, this is a hard pass for me i have tried very much to like this perfume but this perfume sadly doesn't like me it's been rejecting my multiple attempts to pair this scent with my skin i recommend you try this on skin not just on paper especially because this is a pricey bottle so i can imagine this to smell so good on someone whose skin chemistry works well for this scent so this is Bea's number one and this is Le labo santal 33 there you have it, and we're done with six of Bea Alonso's top favorite perfumes. I will leave links in the description box below to where you can get samples and or bottles of these fragrances. Well, I hope you all enjoyed discovering this interesting set of perfumes. So Bea, Bea's taste is unique, definitely not mainstream. She loves some sweet vanilla -y scents, but also loves her leathery, her woody, earthy, masculine leaning fragrances. So if I were to get full bottles of any of these from the list, so Un Jardin Sourire is an obvious choice as you can see from this 50 ml bottle over here but I'm also sure to get DKNY energizing perfume and Chanel chance with the perfume if I have unlimited resources so that's it for today guys don't forget to like and share this video it's going to help me a lot click on the bell icon and subscribe to my channel make sure the word turns a gray color so you don't miss out on any future videos again i thank you all for joining me today stay safe and let's spread the fragrance love bye for now